Lightroom Classic has a ton of really handy sliders and features to really make your photos stand out. But there are three sliders which I think stand out from the rest. So today I'm going to be showing you how and why you should be using the texture, clarity and dehaze slider in your photos using Lightroom Classic. And I'm going to start right now. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And today I have chosen this photo here, which should hopefully show us a practical way of what and how does the texture, clarity and dehaze slider work within your photo. So let's firstly talk about texture. Texture, or the slider, is a fairly easy one to understand. It controls the amount of texture within your photo, but it is one of the most subtle sliders. This one isn't particularly powerful out of the three main sliders. So what we're gonna do, as you can see, I've made a few sliders changes here, but we're gonna be working on these three. So if we go ahead and zoom in, let's zoom in over to the left-hand side here, you can see we've got a decent amount of texture within the trees. So if we want to go ahead and emphasize that, we can go ahead to the texture slider. And as you can see, the more we increase, the more we increase that texture. Clarity, on the other hand, is a little bit different, and it's probably the most powerful out of the three we're going to be talking about. Clarity is very similar to contrast. Think of them as almost brothers or sisters. But clarity is far more powerful. What it does is it changes the actual contrast per pixel. So it is a lot more fine-tuned and can actually ruin your photo if you go too extreme. So what you can do is go to the clarity slider here and go ahead and increase that. And what it'll do is it will increase the definition between per pixel color as well as luminosity. And as you can see, if we go ahead all the way to the max, it ends up making it looks like this crazy HDR. So this is one slider that you may need to be careful. You need to be nice and subtle. And the last one we're going to be talking about is dehaze. Now dehaze, does what it says on the tin. It simply removes haze. Haze is found within the midtones to highlight range, and all it does is it just simply removes that and increases the contrast, pulling away that haze from the rear of your photo. And you'll see there is a little bit of dehaze. What we'll do is actually reduce that clarity down. It's far too strong. There's a little bit of haze in the far background. So what we can do is increase that haze, and what you'll see in the histogram as well as in the photo, it all it does is it cuts through that and it basically tries to increase the amount of definition in the back of the photo by simply pulling apart the midtones and highlights, increasing the contrast. And as you can see, already we have made a big difference to this photo. And all we've done is simply used three sliders. But remember guys, the clarity slider is the one to be careful because it is really, really powerful. So make sure to be subtle.